This is just a sort of tentative because I still don't know how many of you will be in the classroom or not. But for the moment, I am just trying to send a couple of messages. We should be in person um, in around one hour. And I would like to give you some um, preview, I would say, of what we can do. So our course, it's, uh, it's filmmaking for, for civil engineers. And I would like uh, to just to inform you how will be the organization and the grading of the course. Um, there are uh, some circumstances that make the situation different from the previous year, but not totally different because last year we were totally um, remote. This year, I believe it would be safe if you agree to be in remote, even though we are not yet forced to be uh, in remote, it will advisable to be uh, in remote because I believe uh, this situation for a while uh, should be monitored in a different way that it has been in the last weeks. So my name is Fabio Miani. Yeah, I'm a professor of metallurgy here in the University of Udine. And um, I want to show you what we should do. This is generally speaking a, um, a course with a small number of students because to be honest, normally civil engineers are not that interested in uh, steel making. It could be a little bit more interesting for your colleagues of mechanical engineering of engineering with management and also of electronics engineering. But for the moment, I am not managing to convince my colleagues that uh, this is something that should be done or that should have been done at least, uh, let's say, four or five years ago. But it's OK. For the moment, we go on in, in such a way. So uh, our course is organized by means of assignments. Uh, basically, you will make your own presentations like it has been last year. Uh, I will make uh, some uh, preview what has been done uh, last year and also uh, what could be done and what will be done for sure for this year. Uh, so let us review what has been done last year. Uh, basically, listening and demonstrating some personal understanding of a, of a colleague of mine. Uh, it was Bruno De Coma that made these lessons uh, for the University uh, Postec, which is in South Korea. And uh, these uh, lectures have been recorded by my, my much more important colleague, Harry Badesha, is from the University of Cambridge, and you can find them in the uh, his uh, YouTube channel, which is Badesha One Two Three, uh, we will we will give you uh, some more hints just when the the situation goes on. So for the moment, listening to something which is well illustrated and producing your own uh, your own opinions. This is what has been done, and then uh, this is something that will not be possible to do in the same way, or we will discuss if it is possible or not, because we've been using some uh, modules from Steel University, which is an online suite of uh, application information simulations, which uh, unfortunately this year, actually from I think last July in uh, 2020, they now they are asking for money to join their lecture. This is sort of professional training, which is useful because it is in English, but uh, I believe we, will, we would do something else because I wouldn't ask you to spend more money than you are already giving to my university to uh, be registered and then to, to have uh, lessons and exams and the final grades as an engineer like you are already doing since now. 
what it is free. Uh, uh, it's a couple of textbooks from uh, Milan Polytechnic from Professor Boniardi and his co-worker Andrea Casaroli. They have produced a couple of books which are, I believe, very nice uh, books which stand something in between the academia and the real world, uh, which, which is a book, a general introduction to steels, and a more specific book on stainless steel. I will give you some hints on how to get it. On the same uh, way, uh, a software which is called Pandat, which is from the American software company uh, Computer, is available and is available for free up to three uh, chemical components and uh, we will download it and basically we will use uh, these activities a little bit to substitute what, uh, what we have done uh, in the previous years using uh, uh, steel making uh, uh, simulations uh, by steel university so because you see on uh, this eighth assignment, they could be, maybe they could be more, they could be the same number, I don't know, we will check it according to the classroom. And basically, uh, we need one, two, uh, three and four uh, simulations uh, that we will try to, 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 to substitute, by the way. So, um, what we should do, in my opinion, but I am open to discussion with you in person. Of course, we will be uh, keeping listening, modifying, discussing the lessons of the late Professor Bruno de Coman, who, who has been a friend of mine several years ago. I met him in, in Pohang in South Korea. And uh, we will use his lessons and we will comment them and we will try to learn uh, about his course. His course is Modern Steel Product. So we are present in a course on steel making. So steel making is making steel. It is by the people we get, for instance, scrap, they melt it, and then when, once they melt, we will see it. They, they, they use and put it into the ladles, and from the ladles, then they put into the, the, they discharge into tan dishes for continuous castings and they produce blooms or uh, other billets or whatever it should be transformed to solid steel. But the point is that uh, this is not the one thing that I would suppose you to do when you are graduated, but one never knows Maybe my colleagues have different opinions from mine. And so we will browse in any case uh, something, uh, having a look at Steel University, trying to get information, even from the former presentations that your colleagues uh, have done in the previous years. And then we will get the books. Uh, the link is here, the link on the, on the book for steels and the book on the uh, for stainless steel as well. This is good because these textbooks are both in English and in Italian. So you can have an idea of what because no one of us is perfect in the, in the English language. Uh, we should try to be as correct as possible. But the idea is that we can everyone may improve in this situation. So in uh, for Panda from Computer and Site, we, you should get it from there. And if you will be in the classroom, we will try to get it uh, for your PC. And then we have another software, which is a much more general purpose software, which is an open substitute for MATLAB. And the software is called Octa Octave. I would say Octave, but maybe somewhat. Octave, or we say Octave, like Italian guys, and we will get it from there, and we will produce algorithms for for uh, for this part related to the world of steel, maybe to steel making, maybe to steel properties. So we will to try to make a sort of balance 
because I believe you are more interested in the properties of steels, of different kinds of steels, than in steel making itself. But one never knows uh, what the future will will leave to us. So let us review what your uh, colleague Federico Pizzano, you know, he graduated and uh, has done uh, because I asked the guys when they attended online course, we were for a while, we were just alone, so we made a lot of hours. Uh, well before the official uh, and standard uh, finishing of the course. This year we will make a couple of, of lessons a week, uh, so we will not do several activities a week, several hours, I mean, 10 or 12 hours of activities or equivalent activities a week. So we will go orderly uh, with this 48 uh, hours um, course by, so you will send me assignments and you we will go on from time to time, step to step for hours a week. It's okay. And so let us review what, uh, what, uh, Federico has done. These uh, slides are also available. He, he did very nice work in my mind. So uh, here is will be will be the same. You will send your assignment to steel for construction at gmail.com, not to my email because I have a lot of students, a lot of email communications. I want to keep them in a, in a place that I can compare your work with the previous work of other students. And so I could be um, a, a, enough a good professor to evaluate if you correctly for your final marks. So uh, we will keep this uh, path. So for every assignment, you will make a presentation and uh, sometimes you will integrate not necessary with a Bandicam. We use Bandicam, we were not getting making recordings of the slides now we are a little bit better we can upload uh, actually uh, this uh, presentation to somewhere else download them and so on we will see i think you have already done it and so we shall use uh, microsoft teams um, if you have not done it yet i i would suggest that you would do it immediately just today to register and to email me so, so that you enroll, apart from the formal part of it, that you should have enrolled, especially this year. But also, I know that you are there and you are available to follow my lessons and to be active in um, constructing the classroom materials. So, first uh, idea is that we will listen, we will comment uh, a few video lessons, it could be four, it could be even a little bit more uh, and you will get the impression of listening to someone who is or who has unfortunately been uh, teaching and using English to communicate to other students. And so uh, you will learn about uh, steel production, some applications, some um, basic information on uh, modern steel products. And uh, this is more on the specific uh, character of this class of metallic materials instead of the fabrication which has been done last year considering blast furnace. Blast furnace is the, the conventional way of producing steel. Uh, nowadays this is not so fashionable at least in Italy. We have just Taranto in southern Italy which is a big, it was one of the biggest uh, steel making plants in Europe and maybe in the world, but it has different uh, economic, social and environmental issues that uh, I think uh, it is not the one uh, um, steel making plant that you should think about nowadays. Uh, instead, you should think about uh, electric air furnace uh, process, which has been treated in detail uh, by the student last year. We, we, you can get the slides and then you can uh, also get some ideas of what uh, 
I have done in the past because some 30 years ago, unfortunately, now too many years ago that now have passed from that. I was working in a steel making plant with an EIF. Uh, there are several uh, uh, EIF plants uh, in this part of Italy, including Venezia Giulia. As for your uh, future work, uh, the most important one is uh, Ferrier and all the group of Pittini, which is in uh, the northern part of our province. And uh, maybe we will meet some people from the company. But we have also another important place for the production of steel, which is AVS steel. Uh, AVS steel is producing steels, let's say, for the use, I would say, in mechanical engineering uh, applications. Um, while uh, Pitini is producing something around, uh, I should check, but it is something around a couple of millions and a half uh, tons, at least uh, locally. ABS still is producing more one million of tons of steel, which are big numbers actually, not only uh, for the production because, but also related to the population of this part of Italy. So we have one of the highest shares of uh, and ratios of uh, uh, electric earth uh, steel produce uh, steel compared to the local population. Uh, we will see some details about that, and then uh, this is uh, this is to change, and also the blast furnace is to change and to rework. What it is not too much to change. It is the work about the properties of stainless steel. Usually, I am I am sort doing a sort of strain thing because stainless steel is a small quota of production compared to to. Uh, general purpose steels, but uh, I prefer to to use uh, um, this uh, this book before because you have some terms which are are terms like ferrite, austenite, bainite, martensite, and if you get used to them and you see on the practical, I would say, stop point of view, it is much better instead of just starting with microscopic work. So the, 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 you can appreciate, you can, uh, you can get a, a different feeling with something which is macroscopic and then you already know because no one of you is already used to X-ray diffraction, which is more of a university lab specific for materials for describing, for describing properties of atoms, of iron atoms, and how they coordinate with the carbon atom, which is basically uh, steel. So, um, we will decide in any case, I will listen to your opinions, because you can get the two PDFs, and you can prepare your own presentation, and maybe we can do some sort of variation, whatever it would be. Maybe we will build an Octave program, uh, for Jomini simulation, uh, I have it uh, already for MATLAB, and I think it's it's possible to adapt it for you, uh, for the use with Octav. And then, then we will use uh, Pandat. I think Pandat we will use a little bit more because we are using less simulations uh, from uh, Steel University side because this of this I told you we should pay f more money, not a lot of money. I'm speaking about. 10, 20, 30 euros, but, but for each simulation, which uh, should add, add something between 50 and, and 100 euros, which is in my mind too much. Maybe you can spend this money, but for a book, but not for uh, online uh, professional courses organized, but uh, by an organization which is worth still that normally manages much bigger uh, money than. than uh, a few tens of euros. So, so I believe uh, um, that this is not the right position to favor the introduction of uh, steel and steel making concept to to guys uh, uh, studying in the academia. But this is my own opinion. And so, Pandar we will use quite quite more than we have done last year, and we will use also results from Pandar and try to compare with results uh, uh, and manage the results uh, with Octave. 
And then this is secondary still making simulation, which is which is, as I told you, interesting and so on, especially for professionals in the steel making world. But uh, it is not longer available for free. And this was number seven. And the same might be said, uh, sadly, unfortunately, about uh, continuous casting. But also for this one, we will try to find a solution. For the moment, that's nearly all. I think I will uh, meet you in person in half an hour, but in any case, I will upload the, the registration in order to make it available to you, either if you are busy for anything, or maybe you are confused by the situation because you don't know whether to be online, whether to be in the classroom. For the first uh, meeting, I think we will meet in the classroom, but then from the first lesson on onwards, I believe we will be uh, online, which is much safer for the moment. OK, thank you. And uh, let us hope that we meet in half an hour in the classroom. Let me stop the registration. See you later, for sure.